Tonight was also our first big night of high school basketball. Let's not waste any time. Jump into these highlights. First on the docket, the top ranked team in 6A, Wichita Heights on the road against Wichita Northwest. And we begin with future Wichita State shocker TJ Williams taking this one into the paint off the run, getting the tough layup to fall. Northwest, though, they did keep it close early. Got to give them some credit. Here's Tayshawn Williams, talented point guard for them, hitting the floater over the defense. Grizzlies again on offense. This time they're going to go inside to a cutting Jerome Henderson. He would finish and get the foul. One more time from Heights, though. I'll show you TJ Williams all night long. Isolation above the three. He drives in, then detonates on the rim for the slam. Heights cruises to the victory 77 36 to begin their season with a bang. Next up, the Andover Trojans playing the campus Colts. Jacob Weber handling the ball. And he's going to hit the jumper there. Andover High, they were looking for an answer. It's going to be Josh Kim. You're going to see him drive in with the left hand, take it up, and he's going to add two for the Trojans. Now, Andover High again. This time, Griffin hands it to Quincy Bradford. He's going to be open, puts up the three ball from deep, rattles that one in. Colts, they end up getting the ball back. Kaysan Thomas. Drives in, gets a tough layup to fall, and then later he's going to get the ball to his teammate, Landon Brown, and watch him from three. Splash, huge can that one, and the Colts come out with the upset win, a first for head coach Zach Clywer. Over at Bishop Carroll, the Golden Eagles took on the Buffaloes. Jonathan Hauserman lands the jumper. Carroll off to a great start, 10-0 early in this one. Buffaloes looking for some more points. Preston Din passes it to Anthony Granger, and he's splashing the, in the bucket, and Southeast is within six. Now Hauserman again drives in, passes it off, get in the hands of Michael Brand. He'll be able to splash that one in to end the quarter. Now it's going to be Din moving, and he takes the ball down the court, finds Granger in the paint. He'll hammer in the dunk, and the Buffaloes come out with the one-point win. Another upset this one over Carroll. And we also saw their girls game tonight. Buffalo's Alana Webb with the ball. She's going to hit the nice little step back jumper fade away to add three to the board. Buffs again. Leela Jones, she's going to lose it. Golden Eagles' Lily Martin sends it the other way, and it will eventually get to Leah Hinkey, who will then nail the layup. Carroll has the lead. Carroll again. Some back and forth between Hinky and Martin here. Hinky ends up keeping it. She's going to drain the jumper this time around. It's going to be a six-point game. 23 seconds after Southeast Webb swishes home a three ball here. This game was so close throughout, but Carroll, they come out with the victory 